Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of basic Java programming. So in this episode, we are going to learn about variable declarations in Java. So in a Java program, you need to use more than one variable, one or more variables. So you have to declare that variables before use it in a program. Suppose here, I want to add two numbers. So for performing the addition of two numbers, I need three, three variables. The first variable is for save the first number, the second variable is for saving the second number and the final variable, the third variable is needed for saving the result. So I need three variables to perform a simple addition. Suppose I use variable x as for the x for the first number. So here I save a value 5 on variable x. Now I use the second variable as y and with value 3. So now I want to add 5 plus 3. So I need another variable say is it and I need to perform the addition x plus y. So now looking into this code, this code is looking fine but of course you cannot run this program because it contains errors. Here we use three variables x, y and z. But we have to declare these variables before use in this program. So here in this program we use three variables x, y and z. But we are not declaring it. So now I am going to declare these variables x, y and z. So here the three variables x, y and z contain integer values. So I have to declare three, these three variables as integer type. So here is the syntax of declaring variables in Java. First you have to specify the type of the variable. The type may be Java automatic type like integer, double, float, etc. Or it may be another class name or name of an interface. So here all these variables x, y and z contain integer values. So here the type is integer. So you can use the keyword int. Now you have to specify the identifier. So here x is the identifier used for saving the first number. And for finishing this statement you have to put the semicolon. So now the error corresponding to variable x is gone because here before going to use variable x, we declare the variable x. So now we have to declare variable y. So int y. And there is one more error is there because variable is is not initialized yet. So now I am going to initialize the final variable is it. So now this program is absolutely fine because we using three variables x, y and z, we already declare these three variables. Okay. So here we use three statements to declare these variables. But actually you can declare all these three variables in a single statement using a comma operator. So if you have more than one variable to declare and all these variables have same type, you can declare all the variables in a single statement using comma operator. It is possible if the data type are same. So here variable x, y and z are of integer type. So I can declare all these variables in a single statement. This is valid. So instead of declaring the three variables in separate statement here, I declare all these variables in a single statement using a comma operator. This is a valid variable declaration. So here this is called a variable declaration. This is declaration and the, these statements initialization Okay, so here only one declaration statement and there is three initialization statement. Here variable x is initialized with the value 5 and variable y is initialized with the value 3 and variable z is initialized with another expression. This is called dynamic initialization of variable. 
So here variable insert is get the value of x plus y. So this is called the dynamic initialization of variables in Java. Okay, so now you can make the declaration and initialization in a single statement. So here I am going to declare variable x and initialize it in a single statement. So there is no need of this statement. This is also valid. You can perform the variable declaration and initialization in a single statement. So for y also, I am going to make the initialization here. So now there is no need of this statement. So this is also a valid statement. In this statement, we declare variable x, also we make the initialization and we declare variable y also we make the initialization and for variable insert it is only declaration there is no initialization okay so here the variable type is integer i declare another variable double pi equal to 3.141 this is another variable declaration okay so now I am going to make another class in this same program class shape okay so here this variable x, y and insert are of integer type but you can declare variables of a class name. So here we have another class shape. Now I am going to declare another variable here with the type shape and I specify the identifier as circle. So here circle is a variable of type class name shape this is also a valid variable declaration so in java a variable may be integer float that means java automator type or it may be the name of a class so here shape is a class name so this is circle is also a variable with the type shape also you can declare variable with in the, with the interface name suppose here we have an interface gaming gaming is an interface now here i am going to declare a variable with the type the interface name so gaming ec mode difficult mode so here i declare two variables ec mode and difficult mode of type gaming gaming is an interface here so this is also a valid variable declaration in Java. So this is how we declare a variable in Java.